Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to drift with the PS4 controller because I know many of you like me do not have a wheel and pedal setup so you have to make do with the controller. To start out we're going to be looking at my advanced settings. Now this is what I find personally that works the best using the controller but if you have some settings that you think work better go ahead and leave them down in the comments below so anyone else that is watching can use them. For this drift tutorial we are using the BMW E92 M3 and this is the suspension setup that I find works the best for me. Once again if you have some settings that you think work better leave them down in the comments below. So there are three main parts to a drift. Initiation, maintaining the drift, and then exiting the drift. First, we're going to learn how to initiate the drift. There are many ways to initiate the drift in a settled Corsa, but we're going to keep it simple with breaking the wheels loose using the throttle. So we're going to get up to speed second gear and you want to give it just enough throttle to initiate the drift not too much not too little give it too much throttle and you'll spin out give it not enough and you won't initiate the drift Alongside your throttle, your counter steer must also be precise. Not enough or too late will also cause you to spin out. To maintain your drift, you want the perfect balance of throttle and counter steer. Once you've practiced that and you've become comfortable initiating and maintaining your drift, you can then learn how to link your drifts. To link your corners, you simply want to transfer the weight of your vehicle by counter steering the opposite direction and maintaining precise throttle input to carry you through the drift. You're probably not going to get it on your first try, and that's okay. Just keep practicing and you'll eventually get it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it provided some kind of value to you. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more in the future, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any tips or tricks that maybe I didn't touch on or you think might be better, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below so others can see. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.